good morning, everyone. This is Wilfred Lejano from Grad Philippines. Um, we at Grad Philippines help students and graduates connect with the top employers in the country by providing a careers directory platform made for students and graduates. So I'd like to extend a big thank you first to EY Global Delivery Services, to Isla Lipana, PwC Acceleration Center Manila, and Macquarie for making today possible. We at Grad Philippines work together with these great employers to bring you the first ever Grad Philippines Career Jumpstart Session 2021. So we are all committed to helping graduates and career shifters begin or advance your careers in your chosen field. Now, I see that uh, we already have a good number of participants here. If you can please say hi on the chat and mention where you are from. I believe we have attendees from all over the Philippines, no? some from the northernmost province of Luzon. I think we also have um, representatives from Visayas all the way to Mindanao. So yeah, hi, hi everyone. Glad to see you all here. Um, a couple of reminders lang. Um, for the audience, please change your screen to speaker view para makita nyo yung nakaha um, spotlight lang yung ating mga speakers. No? Kasi I think with gallery view, parang makikita nyo lahat. So you might be distracted by some of the videos. So please um, put your screen on speaker view. And then also, please kindly put yourself on mute for the duration of the session, um, just so you know uh, we can concentrate on what the panel is discussing. And then finally, please change your name to school underscore and then your name. So for example, it's UP underscore Christine or STI underscore Jerome. Para lang mas madali namin kayo makilala. So ayan, I think para min na tayong pumapasok na representative. So good morning, everyone. Uh, um, nice to see you all here. Ho hopefully, nakapag-breakfast na din kayo. No? So, ayan. So, everyone, welcome to our panel session for the accounting and finance industry. So, for this session, we will be talking about the tips and tricks for you guys, the audience, to make it through the industry. No? So, not just survive, but thrive in the industry. So, meron lang ako mga konting reminders then um, for our session. So, I'll be sharing again my screen. So hopefully, natuwa kayo dun sa coffee shop yung si kanina. Ayan. So um, this is how the program would flow. So we will be having a panel discussion. It will go on for one hour. I would be asking our esteemed guests some questions that would help you, the graduates and alumni, learn more about them and their endeavors in helping young professionals succeed in the industry. No? And then afterwards, we can ask maybe three to five general questions, which would be relevant to everyone. And then after that, uh, we will be um, splitting you into breakout rooms where you can interact and engage directly with the employer. So we will um, allocate one breakout room per employer, you know, so para makausap nyo din sila and maka-interact directly. We will be opening the breakout rooms naman where you can see the employer name. So kayo mismo pwede kayo makapili kung saan breakout room kayo papasok. So what should you do as the audience, as the um, interested participants, mga applicants? So first of all is uh, maximize the opportunity. So I think um, this opportunity, the opportunity to interact with um, some of the top employers in the country, it doesn't come frequently. No? So maximize the opportunity, engage, interact, ask questions, um, and then explore all opportunities. So we have here four of the top employers in the country. So um, wag nyo i-limit yung sarili nyo sa isang employer lang because doon kayo mas familiar. This is actually the best opportunity nga to get to know them more and then uh, mas makilala nga kung uh, bagay ba sila sa inyo or kung bagay kayo sa kanilang kompanya. And then please also sign up and create your profile at Grad Philippines and then follow our Facebook and LinkedIn pages for updates. So this will be um, a series of events that we will be having. So please um, follow our pages and sign up um, for a profile at Grad Philippines para maging updated din kayo with um, the events that we are having. And then finally, um, ah yeah, sorry. Um, just to show lang, when you registered um, in Grad Philippines, so that you probably noticed here yung login sign up na option. So please do sign up lang dyan para then um, you can create a profile with us. And then finally, for the e-certificates lang, before we start, yun nga, um, I will be um, copying the link then sa ating chat box para pwede nyo itong ma-access. So once you fill out the form um, by probably Thursday or Friday next week, we will be able to provide your e-certificate naman. So I will be copying this 
sa ating chat box para din mas, ma mad mas madali nyo ma-access. Alright? So, um, before our speaker introduction lang, I would like to ask everyone that if you have questions that you'd like to ask, you can type it in the chat box. No? Um, we'll try to answer some of the general questions after our speakers are done. So just park your questions here. All right? Okay, so our panelists here are some of the top professionals in the industry. And they are also from the top accounting and finance companies globally. No? So definitely we are in for it. Our audience is really very fortunate to be here. Um, how I hope na merong gantong event nung time ko, although that was a long time ago. <laughs> so yeah, I will not keep you waiting. Um, but to articulate it better, I can give the floor to our speakers to introduce themselves and tell, tell us more about their professional background at what, and what they are doing in their current role. No? And then siguro after, you know, after each and everyone introduces themselves, baka pwede tayo magbigay ng details then about your company. So maybe we can start with Adi. Thank you, Wilfred. Good morning, everyone. And I hope you're as excited as me for the weekend, no? <laughs> um, so as Wilfred called me Adi, so I'm Adi Lumbres. I'm the GDS Assurance Leader for Asia Pacific. And I oversee both the Philippine Center and the Dalian Center for Audit. Um, and I've been with EY for a long time, so about 19 years now. Um, EY is a global organization that has operations in more than 150 countries, no? including Philippines, um, where we have SCV. So EY Philippines, I guess, is better known locally as SCV, delivering services for our clients in the Philippines. We are 300,000 strong individuals delivering value services to 200,000 clients across assurance, consulting, tax, and strategy and transactions. No? Strategy and transactions is more for acquisitions, mergers, so yeah. And then I'm currently with EY Global Delivery Services, or you can call it EY GDS, which is an integral element of EY's leading class service capabilities. We have presence in six countries, and our 43,000 people enable world-class delivery at an industrial scale. Every day, we combine our subject matter expertise with our technology automation and an automation skills to develop new solutions no, to the, that deliver or caters greater value to EY and our clients. And we take pride in the awards we have received in the last two years. No? And, and that definitely underscores our commitment to delivering the exceptional EY experience for our people. We placed third in Grad Philippines. So thank you, Grad Philippines. We, we placed third in, in the top 100 graduate employers for 2021 for areas of assurance and consulting. And we also ranked fifth in LinkedIn for best companies to grow your career. As we continue to expand no, and, and really um, deliver on our growth strategy, uh, we are currently in Taguig City. And we hope that you can join us. So I hope to see you in the next uh, few weeks or next few months. No? And you could find an opportunity where you can build an exceptional experience for yourself and a career as unique as you are. Thank you again, Wilfred, for inviting us. All right. Thank you, Adi. No? So yeah, so Adi is from EY. Um, so I guess um, she touched a bit na din naman about um, yung the, the setup here in the Philippines. No? So we have EYGDS and we have also the uh, partner firm, SGV. No? Um, so Ian, uh, meanwhile, is from Macquarie. Naman. So for those uninitiated, Macquarie is actually one of the largest um, infrastructure asset manager in the world. So please do correct me if I'm mistaken, but maybe you can give a short introduction of yourself and the company as well. Thanks, Wilfred. That's, that's actually correct. Um... So my name is Ian Galvez. I'm from the Macquarie Group, and I have been in the company for almost nine years now. Um, and I look after the Central Reconciliations team uh, based in Manila and Sydney. So uh, as, as you have mentioned, Wilfred, uh, we are a global financial group, and we are headquartered in Australia. Um, we have a total of roughly 17,000 uh, staff all over the globe, and we have presence in at least 32 markets worldwide. Now, in the Philippines, um, we are actually the top 
one of the top 10 employers uh, as uh, in LinkedIn. And, um, you know, globally, we have four operating groups. Uh, we have a very diverse business mix. It ranges from your annuity style or your uh, retail banking um, sector to markets facing activities. And um, the markets facing activities range from asset and infrastructure um, activity, as well as your uh, traditional uh, securities um, and financial instruments group. Now, um, in, in the Philippines, we have uh, different businesses um, and different groups operating. We have presence in technology and accounting and finance, and we also have uh, presence in the market spacing division. So um, happy to see everyone here and hope to see you later in the breakout sessions. Yeah, thank you, Ian. So, yeah, definitely they are also really grateful that um, they'll be able to interact with each and every one of you. No? Um, I can naman, meanwhile, is from Isla Lipana, PwC Isla Lipana, um, a member firm of the PwC Network. So I guess a lot of the accountants and auditors here have are, are, are already familiar with the setup, no? but hopefully you can give more light to that, Aika. Yeah, thank you, Wilfred. And I hope the students here are actually familiar with PwC as well. But if not, this is a good opportunity, hopefully, yeah. to, to know the firm. Okay. So again, I'm uh, Yuchika or Aika Nakagawa from the Human Capital Team. Specifically, I'm uh, under the Recruitment and Practice Development Group of Isalipana and Company. So you might be confused because there's another, we have another member in the panel who is also a part of PwC. So basically, PwC is a global network of firms, and we are present in 158 countries and 700 plus locations. But Isalipana and Company is is the Philippine member firm. So when we talk about PwC Philippines, that's Isalipana and Company. And um, what we do, we are a professional services firm, and also more than that, a community of solvers who are committed in delivering quality in assurance, tax, and advisory services. So I'm in the HR team, but I work with people coming from different backgrounds. So there are people who are accountants, lawyers, um, economists, management accountants, um, even uh, people who are doing robotics. No, So um, and um, our clients uh, include those uh, in because as I've mentioned, we are based here in the Philippines. So um, our clients include government agencies, um, Lead some leading corporations in the in the country, both local and also foreign um, companies coming from different industries. And um, we are also happy that we are celebrating our 99th year here in the Philippines. So next year, um, uh, I'm looking forward for the 100th year celebration. And um, we are present uh, in Makati, in Cebu, in Iloilo, at least for East Telepana and Company. And um, yeah, I'm looking forward to the getting to know part and also the, yeah. answering some of the questions of the students present in this call. Yeah, thank you for that, Aika. So I'm pretty sure excited din sila. No? Mar maraming mga tanong sa ating mga young professionals kung paano nga ba makapasok sa mga top accounting and finance companies here, not just in the Philippines, but uh, globally. You know? um, finally, we have Marie from PwC Acceleration Center Manila. So I'm not sure lang. Um, I think Marie is having um, some technical difficulties. Um, hello, Marie. Ayan. So maybe we'll get back to Marie na lang no, kapag um, everything is sorted out na. But yeah, like what I've told the audience, we have world-class panelists here on our virtual stage right now. No? So I guess with that, um, the burning question in everybody's mind right now is, um, what is your organization looking for in an application or in an applicant na lang? Uh, maybe we can start again with Abby. Oh, let's yeah. again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maya, ano naman natin? Um, Zumble naman natin. What, what are we looking for, no? We are really looking for people with the right skill set, people who are passionate and who have the right work ethics. No? I guess um, it's ground zero or everyone when you join um, as a fresh graduate, you'll be, it's an equal playing field. And, and really, What's important is passion and and striving to to live to deliver um the best quality, no? Um, but yun um more and more in terms of we we want to look at your values, no? Making sure that it's also aligned to our values and our purpose in EY. So for us, our values really speak about integrity, respect, teaming, and 
always having the courage um, to lead and always doing the right thing. So if you're if you're if you have those qualities, you will be more than happy. Will be more than happy to welcome you in EY. Ayon, thanks. Good, good intro actually, Addy. So I think uh, the point is beyond then, siguro yung mga hard skills, those certifications, those grades. Um, what's really important then talaga are the soft skills, no? Um, yes. Teamwork then. Um, attitude. The attitude, correct. Oh, kasi yun nga, parang when, when you're starting in your career, I would really think that the universities have prepared you with the right uh, technical skills, no? Yep. Uh, but but what's more important is how do you bring that to life? So, yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you for that, Ad. Um, Ayan? Yeah, that's a good ano, that's a good start uh Adi kasi um siguro I'll talk about three things, yung values, yung um educational background and skills. So for values, we just like what Adi mentioned, yung integrity, accountability and opportunity, we we um we really value those things. Um especially we're in the finance industry, integrity talaga is key. Um, now, now, when I talk about opportunity, um, so we're a flat organization. So what that means is, you know, while we have levels, it will also mean that, uh, you know, you don't need to go to the next level just to get things done. You can go directly to directors or, um, you know, senior management if that's what it takes to really get the job done. So it, it's, um, you know, someone who, who takes the opportunity and grabs it and really, you know, runs along with it. Now, in terms of, um, educational background. Um, I think for finance and accounting, um, at least in in uh, in my division operations, um, we're not really, you know, we we are not boxing the requirement for education because, uh, like throughout my career, I've seen people prosper in you know in the markets operations team, even though they have a totally different background. Like I myself, I graduated legal management. Um, my former head of um, global markets in a different company, um, I think was literature and music. So it really, uh, you know, we welcome all degrees. We've seen people who have finance and accounting background and technology, you know, that's an advantage. But um, as long as you have the, uh, you know, the grit, the learning mindset, and really the passion to, perf- to perform and excel in your, in your role, that will really, ma- you know, make you prosper um, as, a, as a fresh graduate, as an, uh, you know, as a new joiner within the team. Sorry, I was on mute pala. So anyway, yeah, uh, that's very good to know. No? Kasi, of course, Macquarie is a um, global name na rin naman. But yeah, it's really great to know that you have a flat organization where you can easily reach out to, you know, um, yung mga bosses, some of the top um, executives in the company. So that's really nice to know. As a young professional, I think that would really be helpful in, you know, empowering them to really speak out their thoughts and, you know, uh, be more proactive in doing their work. So really great to know that. Um, Aika, can we get your thoughts? Yeah, thank you. And I do agree with um, what Adi and Ayan has mentioned. And I would also like to share that um, PwC has came up with uh, a, sur- or a research a few years back asking different um, employers, top employers around the world about the different attributes that make a, a, a professional successful. Hence, this is this also became the uh, career progression framework for PwC. This is at least, uh, there are five actually attributes that we look for in our people. And these are also the base, these are also the attributes that we develop in the people who join PwC. So let me just uh, share the quickly the five to you know first. We're looking for someone who has whole leadership, someone who can lead him or herself, you know, and also at the same time, eventually lead others. Because we're looking for potential leaders, um, not just employees, but leaders in the firm. We believe that every member of Fidway is a leader. And also we're looking for someone um, who's um, able to build genuine types of relationships. I think no matter how smart or accomplished we are, if we are not able to make... Um, Relationships that are, are rooted in trust, medyo mahira, mahira yeah. tayo, no? And also, we're looking for uh, someone who has global and someone who is global and inclusive, someone who can work with different types of people. Basically, has the digital acumen because right now with the technology disruption, 
uh, being accountants or people in finance, uh, yun enough yung technical knowledge. Eh. So, at least someone who's eager to learn, not necessarily have the skills already, because that can be developed, eh, no? but someone who's open to learn, um, to have digital, uh, open to learn digital skills, and of course, medyo latter na yung technical capabilities, because as mentioned by Adi, we, we believe that the four or five years you've spent in college has prepared you for, for the work. And again, skills is something that you can develop while working. Um, so again, those five attributes, whole leadership, relationships, global inclusive, technical and digital capabilities. Now, you might be wondering, how do you, these are soft skills, no? So how do you um, identify or know whether an applicant has this attribute? So in PwC, it's very important for us to get to know the candidates during the interview and our interviews are competency based and oh so that's the opportunity for us to know hopefully if um the candidates have those attributes and most importantly if they have the purpose if we have the same purpose and values as well thank you and so yeah thank you very much for that i guess so i think one good um item that you mentioned is kailangan prepared sila to work with a global team and that they are willing to learn yung mga, you know, yung mga digital stuff, um, those that can be done online. Because I think with the new normal right now, so as you can see, yung ating employee, employee, employer engagement session, yung mga job fairs natin, it's all being done virtually. Yung mga meetings natin, it's done online. So I think it's really important na not hindi dahil magaling ka na accountant or magaling ka na fi, um, finance person that you will succeed in the industry na, no? Um, you really need to adjust to how things are done. Um, I think there's a misconception that the accounting and finance uh, sector is very parang static, uh, where in fact it seems na very dynamic na and it's uh, really quickly adjusting to um, the new normal, the new times na rin, ano. So yeah, thank you for that. Uh, but yeah, I do presume that you receive a lot of applications all over the country. So what do they, the students and graduates, need to show to progress to the next round? So you mentioned na rin naman yung mga, what they need to be you know, considered para mag-fit din talaga sa ating mga companies. So what do they need naman to show to progress to the next round once they siguro um, para send applications and then um, kumbaga, nag, nakapag-interview na din and all. So yeah, maybe we can get your thoughts. Maybe I'll jumble naman yung order natin. No? Can we start with Ayan? Yep, thanks, Will. Um, uh, what do they need to show uh, to progress to the next round? I, I guess um, just like um, Aika, what, 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 what she mentioned earlier, like yung four, four years mo in college, it already, you know, you've done a lot there. You've done projects. So um, it what we usually ask would be yung situations, not not really the credentials. I mean, of course, they they help. You know, if they they have certifications, it it you know it it adds adds up. Pero what we try to um you know discuss during during the interview process is really yung situations and um you know details about you know how you overcame challenges. Um, it's Again, out, uh, the outcome is important, but um, we would focus on uh, learnings. Because not all the time, naman, like when we when, when we embark on a, on something like a project, even in school or even at work, it's not all the time gonna be successful. Eh? So, yeah. but what we look for is really yung learning. Like you entered um, this project na ganito, pero after that project, ani yung ani yung naging uh, output? What did you learn? What changes did you uh, you know will you do going forward and it really talks about the competencies that you would apply in in the role once you become hired uh, by my party all right thank you Ian. Aika. thank you for um yeah, yeah it's my turn pala. <laughs> okay so um how do you progress um if you're given an opportunity to go to the interview part of the of the screening process, I'd highly like to advise talaga to prepare for the interview because that is the opportunity for you to sell yourself, to introduce yourself. Kasi pwedeng sa paper screening, pwedeng hindi ka naman sabihin natin, hindi naman tayo lahat kung graduate na kum laude o naging president ng anong organization. But the, the interview is an opportunity for you to show them that you're more than just what they can see on paper. 
So um, it's important to prepare. There are available questions online na usually tinatanong ng mga HR practitioners that I think you can practice with. And then, um, kasi that's usually it's really the, uh, it will, yun yung magsasabi kung magpo-proceed ka sa job offer or not. You know? um, so, I th and then maybe, maybe maybe later on for the Q&A, maybe we can share yung mga, some practical tips later on. But, yeah. <laughs> and yeah. I think, Ayan. So thank you, thank you, Aika. Good point, actually. No, um, I think uh, from what I've read, then some of the parang applicants then they tend to take for granted yung mga interview. Parang pag nakita nila na ah, okay, parang okay naman yung resume ko, I will submit this. They feel na yun na yung that constitutes bulk of their application. Na where in fact talaga a lot of the evaluation, a lot of you know just checking then kung tugma talaga yung applicants sa company happens in the um, interview session. So, really important to focus on that, to really work on that. If you can practice sa harap ng inyong friends or family or colleagues, that would be better. Just so, you know, you cover all bases. Kasi you'll never know kung anong itatanong sa'yo. Eh. Alright. Thank you for that, Aika. Um, Adi, can we go, um, can you go next? Sure. Maybe to add to that, no? yeah, preparation is key and part of preparing siguro is research about the company, yeah. um, research about the position you're applying for. Why is that important? Kasi during the interview, it's actually a two-way street. No? Baka most of you are thinking that it's all about the employer asking you questions and you giving the right answers. No? And that is important and um, we tend to look at how confident you are in giving your answers and we really want to see sincerity no, in your answers. So tama yun, practice. Um, ako mismo, I, I do that. No? Even for events like this, I usually practice in front of the mirror. Um, but yun nga, do research about the company. Um, when I'm the one interviewing, I usually ask no, if, as an applicant, do you have questions for me? And for me, kasi that, that really shows interest. It shows that you, you come prepared, you research about the company, you're asking questions about your role, no? And basically, there's interaction between you and the interviewer. So, yon, be, be prepared. Thank you, Wilfred. And thanks, Adi. I, I got If I, I think Adi raised a good point that oh, yeah. saying that the interview is a two-way street. And I maybe I, I I just want to add that remember that during the interview you're not just the one being assessed no in in the interview you're also assessing the company so tama yung sinabi ni Adi na research about the company see if talaga bang during the interview is this the company that I would want to work for ganyan I I I usually I encounter a lot of people na sometimes yung deal breaker nila ano ba tong during the interview ganito ganito ba parang kasi usually pag rude yung tao baka lahat na ng tao sa company nila rude something like that so the interview also gives you a glimpse of what the culture is and it's also an opportunity for you to get to know about the company because especially for the students out here I think there are as you know kami nga there are three companies here sharing with you. So maraming, I would like to believe na maraming opportunities for you out there. So sometimes, you, pipili kayo. No? So um, the opportunity for is a good uh, time for you to assess um, in terms of what company fits your um, purpose and your preferences. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, I think um, a lot of, yeah, yung iba sa ating audience is pag-graduate pa lang or just recently graduated. So they're not really aware of how things work in the workplace. Eh. So again, the interview session is a good opportunity for you guys, yung audience natin, to evaluate the company then if you would be a great fit to them. Hindi lang kung, you know, on their perspective kung makakatulong ka sa kanila. Kasi at the end of the day, if you're not happy with your work, within a couple of months, you might be looking for another job. You might not be happy with what you're doing. Sayang yung oras ng lahat. So, that's a very great opportunity rin talaga to evaluate um, ang ating mga employers. Ayan, so I think we have Marina rin. Ay, sorry, Adi. Yeah. Yeah, well, Fred, yung dun lang sinabi mo, no? Kasi I think, for the younger folks now, it's also important for you guys to, to not just grow in terms of yung professional career ninyo. I think what, what we've realized in EY yung with, with the younger, with our staff, our seniors, no, is it's also important for them to have that opportunity to grow from a personal standpoint. So ask also 
during the interview, like if you're into running, are there opportunities for you? May, may activity ba, may group ba, or may events ba yung company that would also support that? So yung different interests nyo, that's also important. No? Kasi yung sabi nga ni Aika kanina, um, when you're joining a company, it's it shouldn't just be work, work, work. So you should also make it make sure that it's aligned to yung personal interest nyo, yung the likes no, and yon the fit, the cultural fit. Sorry, Wilfred, that's all. <laughs> all right, sure, sure, no worries. Great additions then. And so I think we have Marina here. So Marie is from PwC Acceleration Center, Manila. Um, uh, yeah, but I'm happy to give you the floor to introduce more about the company and about yourself, Narendra Siguro. Sure. Thank you very much. I think Hi. I had um, uh, technical difficulties earlier, so yeah. I was able to connect. Good morning, everyone. Hi again. Um, so nice to see you all. Um, I'm as excited as everyone in the group. And um, just to quickly introduce myself and the company. So my name is Elvira Marina Terreno, but please call me Marie. And I'm part of the Talent Academy team, um, which is handling talent acquisition, actually. So I've been with Acceleration Center for five years already. So in terms of the differentiation from East Lalipana and Acceleration Center Manila, first of all, we handle international clients. So that's where the division comes in because East Lalipana is actually focusing on our local clients here in the Philippines. So for Acceleration Center Manila, we handle or we support Europe, Europe and South, um, Asia Pacific territories as well. And then in terms of the service, the difference would be we do, um, I would describe it as more of a piecemeal type of audit work. So when it comes to the assurance function, we don't handle the full scale of the end-to-end process of audit there. So we, we do bits and portions of it, um, but we also have teams who are actually handling the full, uh, it's going towards the, you know, handling the full scale audit procedure later on. Okay. There. So that's it for Acceleration Center Manila. So uh, happy to be here this morning and happy to share our insights also uh, with everyone. So just on that point, um, I heard all of your responses. Very good. So just maybe a quick tip also on that question of um, Wilfred. So during an interview also, my personal advice, especially to our fresh graduates, because most of the time, People, um, you know, come in very nervous. They are very stiff during an interview. So maybe try to change your mindset wherein think of it like you're telling your story as well. Okay, because if you have that mindset coming in during in during an interview, you'll be more relaxed. Diba? You'll be um, parang you're not as stiff, hindi ka masyadong kinakabahan, and you won't be um, parang lost when you're uh, telling your story, right? Because it's your own story that you're going to share with us. And that's something that we're also looking forward to. There. Yeah, that's right. it. Thank you, Great, Wilfred. great advice, Marie. So, yun nga, you mentioned, no? Um, it's you, the applicants, they're telling stories about themselves. So, sino pa nga ba yung best na makapagkwento nun? But yourself, no? But, of course, before that, you need to, you know, parang step back then and see, okay, what do I like? Ba? What do I want? Uh, what is What are my skills? So definitely preparation then would be really good. But yeah, thanks for your advice. Um, I have encountered before na meron ng mga na-interview na talagang sa boses pa lang, alam mo nang nanginginig, alam mo nang kinakabahan. So yeah, definitely uh, take that advice from Marie. Change your mindset. At the end of the day, your telling a story about yourself so be confident um be you know be really prepared then to do that and yeah um just to add lang marie um i asked a question earlier then to all of the other panelists um what is your organization looking for ba in an applicant um yeah thanks for that so wilfred um and of course every one of um in the group so what we're looking for in our in our applicants is actually the passion that they have, you know, the drive that they have to really learn and grow with the organization. So that's one. Because when it comes to the technical capabilities of each individual, that's something that we can help them with, definitely. Um, so I would say we're hiring more for character um, in terms of the people that we're looking for. Because if you have that 
um, you have that passion, you have that grit, you have that motivation to really learn, to really grow with the company. So that's um, that's something that's very important for us. All right. Thanks, Marie. So I, I think it's pretty common naman. No? A lot of the top employers talaga, they're really looking for the soft skills then, you know, yung being able to work in a team, um, being adaptable to adjust to um, global trends, those things, uh, yung attitude then definitely. So those things, they are really important. But yeah, maybe we can also um, go into, yung, you know, yung mga hard skills naman, like mga certifications and all. Are there specific like certifications that you require or recommend for fresh graduates or young professionals that they can take to improve um, their chances of getting considered in your companies now. So I guess we can start them in with Aika. Wilfred, sorry, you're asking about um, the qualifications that will help them advance. Um, if um, the applicants can, you know, um, take um, certifications or other you know, yung mga yeah, certifications that they can use to, you know, uh, help improve their chances of getting considered in your companies. Definitely, of course, um, with Isalipanin Company, most of our, um, most of my colleagues are um, CPAs and also lawyers, but with the postponement of the, of the licensure yeah. exam, and um, we have actually hired people who are who have are fresh graduates from the firm. And what we have learned actually during the process is that talaga na lisensya lang yung diferensya. I mean, oh, I mean, mahalaga naman yun, ano? Pero makikita natin na na um, even without the license, you will see that this the, the, the graduates they are capable, they are very eager to learn, and they are very trainable and coachable. So um, I think. Especially for now, no, because two, two, ilang MSs na tayong nakadelay sa board exams yeah. and all, and even sa bar. So having the degree alone, and as I've mentioned, um, trying out to, I mean, um, applying for certain companies, ha, and then doing your best during the interview, I think tinta lagi yung identify if you will go to the next round or not. Eh. So right. with the certifications, it's good to take it later on, but it's not the priority right now, especially with the pandemic. <laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. Very understandable. Right? Adi? Uh, agree with Aika. No? So um, it, it starts, I, I guess it, it boils down to within our department, oh, assurance, you could have different fields of play also. So for audit, we still look for BSA graduates, um, kasi as, as much as what Aika said earlier na in the last two years or 18 months, wala talagang si Pale, di ba? So, yeah. um, we just need to, we just want to hire BSA graduates so that they could still have that opportunity to eventually take the licensure exam. But it is only a requirement for managers kasi. So, they can take their time um, to take the exam as well. Now, for other fields of play, like we also have yung what we call account management services. So business course is, is good. Um, for fresh graduates, typically the degree is enough really, plus the soft skills. Um, maybe in your interviews no, or in your application forms, if you have other language capabilities, that's a plus. So similar to what Marie said earlier, no, that PwC Acceleration Center is catering for international clients. The same goes for um, EYGBS. Uh, we cater to international clients in Asia Pacific. Uh, we also have a US team. So we, we have about 1,000 employees currently um, supporting Oceania, um, Singapore, Malaysia, uh, US, and Hong Kong. No? And then the language capability comes in for us primarily because we support Japan as well. So, kung, kung meron lang kasing mahilig um, mag-aral ng language. So, aside from the, the certifications, no, that's also a plus. Thank you, Wilfred. Thanks, Adi. Um, Ayan? So, um, siguro slightly different from the uh, <laughs> from PwC and EY. We, do, we really don't have any um, you know, qualification or, uh, you know, requirement. But um, in terms of, you know, it's, you know, it's, a, it's an edge. For example, um, 
in our settlements functions, in our reconciliation functions, um, hires na merong uh, accounting or finance background, it really gives them an edge to understand, you know, some of the nuances. Uh, pero it's not a limitation uh, kasi you're also trained for the role. Uh, we train you naman and we also expose you to our stakeholders. Um, if I were to uh, to sum it into three things that would make you successful, it's really, yun nga, um, if you're able to learn and develop the skills, um, and I think you've done that through uh, your you know projects in college, and then second, if you're open to uh, changes, kasi year on year naman, whether it's um, audit or it's finance or accounting or in operations, like bago naman yung trends. Eh. So if you're able to adapt uh, very quickly, that will give you an advantage. And then siguro, um, finally, yung communication. Uh, I think Adi mentioned, um, you know, with a global stakeholder team, um, if you're able to communicate really well with them and empathize with them and build relationships, that will make you successful uh, for the role. All right. Thanks. Thanks for that, Ian. So yeah, a different setup nga din pala with um, EY and PwC. Mo. So yeah, uh, Mary. Yeah, thanks, Wilfred. So for PwC ACM, um, to of course, um, Adi and um, Ika's point, currently, since you know there's a cancellation of the Cipale board exams yeah. this year, and we don't have any um, confirmation yet if it's going to proceed. So right now, we're not requiring any certifications, especially for our assurance team. However, we um, we do support those who are those who doesn't have certifications yet we have a program that we're offering for um, our non-cpas wherein if they stay with our organization for at least a year um, they will be able to apply for the sponsorship program should they want to continue um, with their certifications so that's um that's one but very quick answer to the question currently we're not requiring any certifications at the moment however for our uh, for the different um, lines of services that we are also catering to like advisory services and um, RPAs, um, our data analytics as, um, team as well. Most of our candidates that we handle there would be uh, or has certifications already. Yeah. All right. Thanks for that, Mary. So yeah, Siguro, yeah. um, one or two questions lang then before we go to sa breakout rooms. No? I think one question that is very relevant right now, and I'm sure this is also in the minds of a lot of the people here, of course, with the pandemic and the disruption in the business, what is EY Global Delivery Services, PwC Isla Lipana, PwC Acceleration Center Manila, and Macquarie doing to navigate these turbulent times, no? making sure that the company you know, stays afloat and competitive in these trying times? And siguro primarily, what are you doing to make sure that your employees are being well taken care of? So I guess we can start with um, ANMN. Thanks, Will. Um, in terms of your first question, yung what are we doing to stay afloat? Yep. Um, so in terms of business lines, we have a very diverse mix of business. Um, so if we see that there's an opportunity in this market uh, outside of um, you know outside of the Philippines, uh, we would grab that opportunity. Like for example, if we see na um, you know structured warrants, for example, is 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 big in this location in Southeast Asia we would grab that opportunity. And I think um, that's where our success lies. If we see na some businesses are, you know, not as profitable as when we entered them, you know, several years ago, we would, you know, we would make a decision to um, either diversify our portfolio or move our business to another, you know, an, another product. So that's how we do things in, in Macquarie. And, uh, yun nga, presence in a lot of markets. So, and it, it's a good mix between yung retail banking style as well as your market spacing kasi nababalance sila yung risk. Um, in terms of what we are doing to, uh, you know, to help uh, our staff cope with the current situation, um, I, I think, ano, yun, I think someone mentioned, I'm not sure if it's Adi or, or you or, um, or Aika, but I think traditionally people think that if you're in a finance or accounting background, you know, hindi progressive. Pero um, I think similar to other companies, even prior to the onset of the pandemic, we have been working from home na. Um, you know, we were very mobile um, and um, we collaborate, you know, through virtual tools like Zoom, Teams. Um, so lahat ng yon, um, we have been doing for quite some time already. And um, 
you know, given now this situation um, seems to be, uh, you know, continuing, uh, we will keep on doing that to make sure our staff is really taken care of. And uh, one of the things that we also uh, imbibe, in, 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 imbibe in our leaders is really yung, um, collaboration and empathy. So um, that's, uh, that's part of our culture. If somebody needs help on something, we, you know, we want to pitch in and we want to put it out in the open so that, you know, people will be there to support each other. And same thing for managers and leaders. Um, it's our daily routine to talk about challenges. Um, as you know, you know, brownouts, typhoons. <laughs> we we encounter that all throughout the year. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so it's important that we talk about them as a group. And you know, it's not just the Manila team who's there to support us, but you know, our our other teams in other locations like Sydney, New York, um, Hong Kong, they're there to support us as well. So it's a conversation. And it's really, you know, it talks about collaboration and empathy for each other. All right. Thanks, thanks, Ayan. Um, Abby? Tagal kong mag-unmute, no? Oh. <laughs> so, um, sige, so what, uh, what is the company doing to stay afloat? No? So again, being very specific to, to audit or to assurance, audit is a regulated industry. So despite the pandemic, there's, the business is continuing because there is that requirement coming from the regulators globally no, that companies are still required to submit their audited financial statements. So that's fun. Um, when it comes to not just audit, but also consulting, no, we are making sure that we are highly relevant. So staying afloat means staying updated in terms of solutions that our clients would require to get them through this pandemic. No? But maybe for you, what's more important is what do we do for our people? No? What have we done for our people during this trying time? So uh, within the assurance department, which I lead, um, we have a cluster system. No, because we have one thousand people. So as much as I would want, no, to to really have that one-on-one -on -one, uh, discussion with everyone, that might not be possible um, for everyone. No, in in one year time. So so what we do have is um, a cluster system. I have senior managers and managers, and we encourage them no, to really have that people engagement activity. So um, we have weekly engagement activities. Some clusters would have Zumba, virtual Zumba sessions. Um, ako naman, with my immediate downline, yung, yung senior managers ko, no, it's really just creating a Zoom event every week. And we started at one hour. Now it's, the, it's three hours na. And any this any topic under the sun, no, whatever you're going through, your family is going through, it's just an, an opportunity for you to talk about it, to, to share, no. And yung for the GDS naman firm as a whole, in the last month, if I have my time correctly, um, we actually did a mental wellness activity and a mental wellness event for everyone in the group. Um we collaborated with a third party. Tapos, um, it was really promoting for the coffee lovers like me. Um, it was a session on coffee brewing. And then we had a session uh, for relaxation, yung soy candle making. We also had a session for, for, for those who, are re who really would want to have a very clean house. So like, how do you, how do you make your own organic cleaner? So ganon. So different topics. Mala talaga home bodies, kumbaga. Yeah, so it's really... <laughs> It's really addressing yung need to relax and to be to have that uh, mental balance, no? And and definitely through these trying times, you also have what we call employee assistance program. So the employee assistance program, naman, we we have a third party um, hotline. Parang hotline siya. You you have to register through your company ID, and, and basically there is a licensed therapist on the other end of the line who can talk to you and it's it's and it's open not just to the employees but also to family members or people who are living in the same household so we do we do understand that people cope have different coping mechanisms so we just want to make sure that we have those avenues now for our people so yeah wow that's nice to know no that um your company, I, I believe all the companies here naman are really concerned about um, the mental health then of your employees. And, you know, despite us being in the digital space right now, 
most of us, if not all, are working from home. Um, we do our part to, you know, um, have big, parang yung employees natin maging stay connected to us. Kasi sometimes with, you know, with the setup, minsan na-alienate natin yung mga employees. Eh. So it's really nice to know that you have those endeavors. Um, Aika, can we get your thoughts as well? Yes, um, and it's true, no, Wilfred, that working from home, um, kasi previously, yung coming to the office um, kind of like um, brings you that uh, sense of belongingness, eh? you, you know, that you're uh, a part of an organization. So that's actually what we are also, a bulk of what we're doing right now is bringing that sense of belongingness virtually. And it's all really focused on also our programs right now has... Um, um, is really about the well-being, taking care of our well-being of our people um, in all aspects, including, of course, especially mental health. And um, that's why um, we have a, um, a lot of our well-being programs are focused on rest and recovery as well. Because um, especially when you're working from home, um, sometimes, ano eh, kasi nga, hindi mo na kailangan bumiyahe, parang i-extend yung time. Ano. So um, a lot of our focus right now is also reminding people that being a competent um, individual is not just about delivering your results, but being able to take care of yourself. So really promoting quality working hours. And then also, there are also services available for those who are, you know, who just who, who just need to talk to someone. Kasi yung communication, kasi a lot of um, our colleagues as well, mag-isa lang sa bahay, yung mga ganun. So there are also avenues for them to contact um, people, um, uh, mental health professionals as well. And then... We also have a lot of um, engagement activities. So, for example, and also may mga clubs din. Okay, because yung engagement talaga yung very much important. Because dati, it's just easy to invite someone over for coffee, you know. And it's um, one of the things that I also remember is that because um, a lot of the, like, these programs, it won't be effective if, if the top management is not really on it as well. So, um, really prioritizing into driving the campaigns of taking care of our people from the top management. So, they are also undergoing, like, training how to screen for, um, how to help your employees who have mental health issues, things like that. And also, how to make conversations, engagement intentional. Because, um Ngayon, if you want to engage your your staff, you really need to set a, a Google invite, a, parang a Zoom meeting with them, something like that. So it's really, um, again, going back to building that culture uh, that we have in PwC back virtually and and making everyone feel that they belong. Because after all, we are a community of sol solvers. We are making a difference. It's just that we're located from different places. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yun yung nawala ngayon eh, no? with the new normal. Before kasi, uh, minsan pupunta ka lang sa pantry, kakain ka, meron ka na ma makakakwentuhan doon. Eh. Uy, kamusta yung araw mo? So ngayon, yeah, um, really appreciate that all of the companies here are trying to bridge that gap. Kasi um, coming from, you know, tagal na din ako nag-work, yun talaga yung namimiss ko sa workplace. Eh. Pero good to know that all of you have those initiatives. Um, Mary, hopefully you can share for PwC ACM as well. Sure. Um, th um, it was very nice hearing all of the initiatives that you have currently with your current organization. So I'm um, very happy to know that I think everyone is doing that, all organizations. And um, same with PwC ACM, we're also focused on taking care of the mental well-being of our employees, which is very important at this time. So to Aika's point earlier, we also have a lot of employees who are living alone and we make sure that we also take care of their mental well-being. So um, we've launched a couple of programs to actually um, help with that. So I think it's the same with um, um, same as um, the employee assistance program in EYGDS. So it's also um, a mental uh, mental well-being activity wherein our employees can actually schedule a session with um with a licensed therapist so they can talk about anything you know any issues they're encountering with work with family or any um you know maybe mental challenges that they're currently having so that's very important and um you know we have a lot of um people who are living away from their families right now so just living with friends is very different um being with family is still very important um at this time so that's one activity that we're making sure um that we you know that we really foster 
um, and that we really encourage our people to join. And connections is very important. So um, thanks for bringing that up, Aika. So um, engagement activities are still ongoing. So we continue to do virtual activities center-wide. So we make sure that we have our monthly, um, as you may call it, town hall meetings to update everyone of the status of the company, how we're actually doing, award top performers for the month. We also celebrate as, um, as one firm, actually. So we always um, celebrate the monthly um, celebrants, monthly birthday celebrants. So we sing for them <laughs> and, um, you know, we play music. So um, at least you get the feel, uh, you still get the sense of belongingness that you belong in a, uh, you know, in a bigger group, in a bigger organization. Yeah, that's it. Thanks, Thank thanks, you, Wilfred. Marie. Those are actually significant things, no? Yung mga, y- alam mo yun, yung may kakanta lang sa'yo ng happy birthday, may babati sa'yo, even sa Viber. Yes. <laughs> Laking bagay na siya actually, eh. Especially now with the current setup. Na, yeah, you mentioned you have employees na talaga mag-isa lang sa bahay. So, that really goes a long way, yung mga simple gestures natin that we're doing. Um, yeah, so siguro, final question na lang, um, maybe in two to three sentences. Uh, basically, the uh, parang, Maybe you can state why should students apply to your organization. So, kumbaga, ito yung parang selling point of your company. Um, who wants to go first ba? Um, maybe we can start with the first, parang yung first order natin kanina. Adi, can you go first? Sure. Ayon. Ako, simple, simple lang. If you are purpose-driven and you are looking for a company that would help bring out the best in you, with continuous in- investment in both your professional and personal growth, then EY is the firm for you. Yun lang. <laughs> Short but sweet. All right. Um, Aika? Yes. And um, thank you, Wilfred. In PWC, uh, we believe that value is in the eye of the beholder. And with that, um, if you are, if you want to be able to create the value that you're looking for, um, we hope that if you join PwC, you'll be able to grow your own way and be able to um, craft your career in the way you want it to be. All right. Thanks, Aika. So, sakto lang din pa rin two to three sentences. I was thinking na kung one sentence lang, kaya lang baka kulang din eh, with everything that you want to say then everything good that you want to say about your company. But yeah, uh, Marie? Yeah. So, um, yeah. So, for PWC ACM actually, so, if you're looking for an organization who will help you grow, um, you know, technically, professionally, and um, of course, Taking at the same time taking care of your soft skill side, so this is the organization that you um, that you should lo- be looking for because we believe in homegrown talents and we are honing leaders at all levels. So um, if you start with us as an associate, as an entry level um, grade, we will hone your leadership le- leadership skills right um you know right at the very beginning. Okay. Thank you. All right. Thanks, Marie. And then, last but definitely not the least, um, Ian. Thanks, Will. Um, just a couple of sentences. I think I, I was thinking, um, if you want to experience the other side of audit and get audited by <laughs> PwC and PY, uh, please join us. Customer uh, side. Party. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> and um, but but kidding aside, uh, I think we're you know similar to the other um companies here were highly diverse, were inclusive, and highly collaborative. Um, in Macquarie, we believe our people are, you know, our most important investment, and we put them first, and we set them up for success. So um, we look forward to your applications. All right. Thank you very much, Ayan. So yeah, I'm just conscious of the time lang. No? So I think we can proceed na directly with the breakout rooms, because I, I think I opened the idea earlier of you know, accommodating one or two questions, general questions that can be answered. But I think it's best if we will open at the breakout rooms para talaga makapagtanong na din yung mga applicants natin directly sa ating mga employers. So yeah, with that, we will now be opening the breakout rooms. You will see in your Zoom interface the option for the breakout room. So feel free to join the breakout rooms of um, PwC East Lalipana, PwC Acceleration Center Manila, um, EY Global Delivery Services, and Macquarie. So there, they will have representatives who will entertain your questions and inquiries. Um, The breakout rooms will be open for 30 minutes, so please do maximize the time. 
And again, thank you very much, Marie, Aika, Ayan, and Adi for imparting your knowledge to the young professionals and graduating students here. You know, this is something that hopefully everyone will apply once they get in the accounting and finance world. Um, who knows, these young professionals here could be the next leaders of EY, PwC, Isla Lipana, and Macquarie. You know? So yeah, thank you very much. Um, we can now start going into the breakout rooms then. Thank you, everyone. Have a nice day and enjoy the rest of the Grad Philippines Career Jumpstart Sessions. Thank you.